Hello and welcome to a very special B1M video where I'm joined by Rebecca Thompson who is President of the Charter Institute of Building which many of you will know as the CIOB. Thank you so much for being with us Rebecca. Um, there are literally loads of things I want to ask you but I suppose really we should start at the beginning and find out a bit about your background. How did you go from, from starting out to being President of the CIOB? Gosh, I think like an awful lot of people I came into construction completely by accident. So with the student sort of trident work experience scheme at school, I ended up working on reception in a building surveyor's office. Uh, was pretty bored from day one <laughs> and asked if I could take my homework in. I was quite, uh, quite a good studious student. And they said, yes, of course. I took in some technical drawing and they said, would you like to use our drawing boards? And from there, it was a case of, um, you're actually quite good at this. Have you thought about being an architect or a building surveyor? And I said, well, what, so what do they do? And they really took me under their wing, showed me the ropes of building surveying, and I absolutely loved it. So I went back all through my um, student holidays, sort of volunteering really. They used to pay my bus fare and my lunch money. And uh, did that through my A-levels and decided to go to university. Um, to do building surveying. But then after my A-levels, I went across to America to do Camp America, rang my dad, who didn't have mobile phones then, and said, I'm in South Carolina um, and I'm gonna go to Florida, Dad, it's gonna be great. And he said, uh, no, you've got a job, get yourself home. And Paul Shepherd of Shepherd Construction had heard about this girl in York that liked building and they contacted my dad and sort of basically said, look, there's a job here if she wants. Rather than going to university, we'll put her through college. So I did. And, um, and of course, Paul Shepherd and Sir Peter Shepherd are past presidents from York. So there's quite a nice lineage <laughs> there of where I ended up. So I know as well that you have a heritage background. You've worked in the heritage sector for much of your career. Yeah. Uh, and I know that a key objective of your presidency is to raise the profile of that, of that sector. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about your, your plans in that area? I can, because I, I'm, I'm a bit of a convert to heritage, really. I started out in the commercial construction side, like I said, with Shepherd Construction, and did many roles within the commercial business but then led a team of archaeologists at a company called E.C. Harris and really, really enjoyed the history and the archaeology, which got me really interested in that sector. I then did an Open University degree that led me into the heritage side with archaeology, cultural heritage, and wanted to find a job that led me in that direction. And that's where the job at York Minster came up. And of course then, I mean, that talk about a dream job for somebody with a commercial construction background, leading the biggest heritage lottery fund project um, in the country at the time. Um, but realising the difference and the need of the heritage buildings compared with the new commercial technological side, 25% of the buildings are historic building stock. So, so we need to have those skills, even in just maintaining the buildings that we've already got, as well as obviously the new buildings. And you can incorporate new technologies into older buildings, it's just you've got to respect and understand the significance both culturally and architecturally and Absolutely. aesthetically. So it's a really complex part of the industry that I absolutely love. And I think it might encourage a, a different, a more diverse group of people into the industry as well. And we have got a skills shortage. Just on that point, we do have a skill shortage in the UK industry. Uh, we're also faced with that long-standing issue about the industry image. Uh, and we're facing challenges in terms of gender balance, diversity, and attracting the best young talents. I wonder, do you see those issues as being interlinked? And if so, what can we do to address them? You, you're right, the industry has got a bit of a, a poor image and there is a gender imbalance, but there's a massive diversity imbalance. It's not just about gender. But I think to make it acceptable and invite the right people in, we've got to make it a great industry to work in. Now that's already starting with, um, with the health and safety improvements that we've got and the well-being that we're looking at now. And compared to sort of 20 years ago when I started on building sites, we actually have toilets for girls too, <laughs> which, which is great. But it's bigger than that. And we need to be looking outside of the standard pool of people coming through with 
just sort of physics and maths and and that sort of engineering uh, talent to saying look any, anybody can do this um, there are so many opportunities within the industry that you know looking at heritage and the arts and the archaeology background or even the transference of skills from from um, retired army veterans that are being retired because of disability and that's a, a campaign that CIOB have had so there's a I would say just come and come and talk to us because it's a fantastic industry to be in. Just finally what would you say to a young boy or a young girl who's considering a career in construction? I do and I would <laughs> say find out all you can about the industry and we've got a great website with CIOB and there's things like Minecraft and we're actually aiming um, things at, at the younger age groups because it's at that stage that they've got to find out and be interested in a career. What I would say it's a great career opportunity we've got a massive skills gap so if you're looking for a fantastic career in construction then go for it and it can cover a whole range of skills and take you to some incredible places throughout the world so it's a massive opportunity and I would really encourage anybody to join us. Rebecca Thompson, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget if you'd like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, you can subscribe free to the B1M.